Over the course of four days, the panel will listen to evidence that has been collected over the last 10 years that contradicts the official government version of events. Each witness will present an opening statement and then answer questions posed by the panel. The panel has been given considerable latitude in the subject and nature of the questions they may ask. Uh, and we expect the witnesses to answer every question to the best of their knowledge. After the hearings have adjourned on the fourth day, the panel will reconvene over the following weeks and months and make a decision on which aspects, if any, of the evidence presented deserves further investigation by governments with subpoena and political power. The panel will then publish a final report, which I will help draft and edit, setting forth a recitation of the evidence presented and the panel's conclusions regarding the strength, the strength of the evidence and recommendations on how to proceed. The information that we receive from, from really all sorts of media, with the exception of the alternate media, the, the internet, seems to be uh, just kind of telling us the same story over and over again, but they really can't address the hard questions that are out there. They will say, they being those that uh, support the official story, that, well, all those questions have been answered. There's books out there. Well, they've all been answered. Surely they've all, all been answered. But when you read those books and when you get into those questions, uh, you find that they have not been answered. This is what we're talking about at the Toronto hearings, presenting this evidence to the distinguished panel uh, and, and packaging it. And I'm very excited to be a part of it and, and to hear the other distinguished panelists discuss the other aspects of the extremely explosive destruction of the Twin Towers, including nanothermite composite explosives found in all the World Trade Center dust. People that read this material and, and have looked into it realize the official account is, uh, can't withstand scrutiny. It's just full of holes and contradictions, gaps. Um, the difficulty is bringing this to the attention of responsible parties. The political class in the United States is, is basically you can't talk about it, much less do anything about it. And so I think bringing it to Canada and bringing everybody together and trying to put on the table a, a collection of, of evidence that we are confident about uh, can raise the profile of this issue uh, because that's all we have to do is get people to take a look at it. Mm -hmm.